Hello, KG2. Welcome back to your social studies class. I hope you all had a wonderful winter break and I hope you all are excited to learn new things today. As you know, we are studying about community helpers. And guess what? Today we are going to learn about our last community helper before we move on to our next topic. So can you guess who it is? Let me give you a clue or a hint. This community helper works with animals. That's right. Today we will learn about the veterinarian. Now veterinarian, that is a big word. So let's split it into two. So if you cannot say the whole word, you cannot say veterinarian, you can always say wet. You see that? We eat wet. You just use the first half. You don't have to say the whole word. So let's learn about the wet. What is a wet? A wet is someone who looks after animals. These animals might be sick or injured. A wet is like a doctor for animals. So a wet is a doctor, but a doctor for animals. What does a wet do? A wet has to do a lot of things like checking if the animals are healthy, giving sick animals injections or medicines, doing tests on animals to check what is wrong with them, doing operations on animals that are really sick, and teaching people how to look after the animals. I'm sure if you have a pet at home, like a cat or dog or a bunny or a turtle or hamster, I'm sure they have been to the wet. How do you become a wet? Well, to become a wet, you have to go to school and you need to be very good in school, especially in science. Then, after you finish school, you have to go to a special university where they will teach you how to become a wet. And also, you might have to spend some time working with animals like on a farm or in the zoo, which will also give you lots of good experience. What skills does a wet need? Well, most wets, they have to love animals and they need to care about them. You cannot become a wet if you're scared of animals. So you need to love animals if you want to be a wet. And vets also need to know a lot of information about all kinds of animals. Being a wet is a lot of hard work. Sometimes they have to work overnight and also on weekends. Sometimes they don't have any holidays. They have to work very hard. And then they also have someone helping them. Now, when you go to the doctor, like we studied before, there is someone helping the doctor, right? There is a nurse who helps the doctor. So same way, the wet also has a nurse who is helping him or her. And that nurse is called a veterinary nurse, okay? Nurse, she also looks after the animals. What does the veterinary nurse do? Well, they look after different things like taking care of the animals and after the surgery they make sure the animals are okay and they give them food, they walk the animals and they do tests and check the animal if there is something wrong with them. They also help the vet with the operations and they teach people how to look after their animals. And they give medicine to the sick animals. Now, where does a wet work? Well, most of the wets, they work in a special building called the animal hospital. This is where people will bring their animals to see the wet. Sometimes the wet also visits other places like a zoo or a farm 
for example if the animal is very big like an elephant or something they cannot go to the animal hospital they cannot fit in there so the vet has to go to the farm or the zoo to see such animals and if the animal is really sick and they cannot move then also the vet has to go and visit them now which animals do you think the vet visits well first like you can see in the picture there are farm animals like goats sheep cows hens so those are farm animals remember we studied about them before then we have wild animals or zoo animals they are the animals in the zoo like lion tiger yes even they need a wet sometimes then there are working animals like the police dog and other wild animals and then we have pets pets are the animals which you keep at home like a hamster or cat or dog or a bird turtle many pets i'm sure some of you have pets so all these animals are the ones that might visit the wet would you like to be a wet hi i'm ben if I could be anything, I'd be a veterinarian. A veterinarian is a doctor for animals. I would work in a veterinarian clinic and wear blue doctor's clothes. They are called scrubs. When a kitten is sick, they will come to see me, and I would find out what's wrong. Ah, 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 shoot! Poor kitty's not feeling well. That's better. Pets can't tell me what's wrong, so I have to examine them. I use my flashlight to look inside a kitty's ears. And inside the kitty's mouth. Wow! Ah, germs. That kitten has a cold. I would send the kitten home with some medicine and even a little cat toy. Dingle dingle, ding da ding. Don't worry, little kitty, you'll be better in no time. Hey, <laughs> that tickles. Sometimes pets come in for just a checkup. So I check their eyes and their teeth and their fur. When a puppy has fleas, it needs a special bath. Puppies love to splash. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. After the bath, the puppy is ready to play again. Yep, he's a healthy and happy puppy. It's crazy in here, but fun. I love animals. Uh-oh, not again. This is Bubbles. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bubbles always comes to see me when he bumps his head. <laughs> Silly monkey. I bandage his head carefully and tell him not to climb any more trees for three weeks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But sometimes that monkey just doesn't listen. Silly monkey. I love being a veterinarian because I get to help all kinds of animals. It's fun. So a few things to remember. A wet is an animal doctor. A wet works in the animal hospital or a clinic. 
and the vet sometimes also visit the animal zoo or a farm just to make sure the animals are healthy and they're not sick. And just like any other doctor, the vet also uses tools to treat the animals like the thermometer, the band-aids, or a stethoscope, just like a normal doctor. Even the vet needs all these tools to treat the animals. So boys and girls, that was our lesson for today. It was our last community helper. We learned about the veterinarian. Now, if you cannot say the whole word, you can just say wet, okay? But remember, it's the short for veterinarian. I will see you tonight in our Zoom class. Goodbye.